Authorities in Japan on Tuesday rushed to assess the damage a day after a powerful earthquake killed at least 48 people, caused landslides and the collapse of several buildings, sparked massive fires in popular tourist areas, and triggered a tsunami warning for Japan. The length of the country's west coast. Continuing aftershocks, debris on highways and damaged roads hampered rescue operations amid efforts to search for survivors. Look, Robbie. Look. Uh, Footage taken by broadcaster NHK on Tuesday morning showed a seven-story building collapsing and smoke billowing in the central area of Wajima, Ishikawa Prefecture, famous for its morning market, where a large fire broke out on Monday. Images on social media showed cars, houses and bridges in Ishikawa shaking violently while frightened people huddled in shops and train stations. Wow. Wow. Houses collapsed and large cracks appeared in roads while others were hit by landslides. The fire engulfed more than 200 buildings in the central Wajima area but was brought under control, Ishikawa officials said. Ishikawa Governor Hiroshi Hayes wrote in X that roads in many areas had been damaged by landslides or cracked, while in the port of Suzu, several ships capsized. A magnitude 7.6 earthquake, rated at its epicenter as a 7 on the Japanese Shindo intensity scale, struck the Noto Peninsula in Ishikawa Prefecture on Monday afternoon, as the country marked New Year's Day, when families generally gather at home and lots of shops closed. The earthquake was centered around 30 kilometers northeast of Wajima with a temporary depth of 16 kilometers. The quake triggered a rare warning of a large tsunami and forecast waves as high as 5 meters, but by 10 a.m. Tuesday, all warnings and advisories had been lifted. The highest tsunami ever recorded was said to have reached a height of more than 1.2 meters at Wajima Harbor in Ishikawa. The meteorological agency said on Tuesday that although the waves were unlikely to get any bigger, sea level changes were still visible prompting communities in areas under tsunami warnings to refrain from marine-based work. Although fears of a major tsunami, reminiscent of the deadly waves that hit the coast of northeastern Japan following the Great East Japan earthquake disaster in March 2011 did not materialize, the earthquake itself appears to have caused widespread damage, and the death toll is likely to rise along with the increase in the number of fatalities. Rescuers moved through the disaster area. It was a very strong shaking said Sagumasa Mihara, 73, as he queued with hundreds of others for water in the quake hit town of Shika. What a terrible way to start the year. In the city of Kanazawa, Ishikawa Prefecture, the quake was strong, but damage did not extend beyond residential areas in the Tagama Shinmachi district, where hilltop houses were hit by landslides, causing three fatalities. Collapse. No fatalities were reported due to the landslide. The area was also cut off from water and gas services. Hiroko Aoki, a woman in her 70s from the area, recalled that she felt a strong shaking when she wanted to drink from a cup, followed by an even stronger shaking. He immediately went out after the shaking subsided to check the situation, and found that the window was broken. He was then asked by authorities to evacuate. Resident currently taking refuge at the Kanazawa Tagama Community Center told the Japan Times that he knew a family member who lived in one of the collapsed houses. The family member, an architect, felt a shock he had never felt before. 
Acting on instinct, he grabbed his dog and fled the house with his wife, holding the keys in his hand. When he glanced back, the house had disappeared, Oshima said. She was very caring, reached out to others and told everyone about her situation even though she was the victim. He probably didn't sleep in the evacuation center, Oshima said. He's a very good person. Niigata Prefecture resident Brendan Donaldson told the Japan Times by telephone that the earthquake he experienced at his home in the city of Joetsu was the worst he had felt in his 30 years living in Japan. I was just sitting on my iPad, and I couldn't do anything. I cannot stand it. I didn't know what to do, said Donaldson, who is from Scotland. Things were falling off shelves, cupboards were opening, doors were opening. Donaldson, 56, said his home is located about 1 km from the Sea of Japan, and about 150 km from the Noto Peninsula. Even though there was not much damage to the houses in his area, when he went to the beach near his house on Tuesday morning, he saw that many houses on the beach had been damaged by the small tsunami the day before. Some beach houses are completely gone, he said. Some of the deaths confirmed so far appear to have been caused by people trapped or buried inside collapsed buildings. Buildings were reported to have collapsed in Niigata, Toyama, Fukui and Gifu prefectures, leaving many people injured. According to Ishikawa Prefecture, 20 people were confirmed dead in Suzu, 19 in Wajima, 5 in Naneo, 2 in Animazu and 1 each in Hakui and Shika. The dead included seven victims at Wajima City Hospital, city officials said. In Wajima, 25 houses reportedly collapsed, and people were likely buried under rubble in at least 14 locations. A team of firefighters crawled under a collapsed commercial building in Wajima to search for survivors, television footage showed. Hold on, hold on, they shouted as they struggled through piles of logs with electric saws. A duty officer with the Wajima Fire Department said authorities were still overwhelmed on Tuesday with rescue requests and damage reports. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said early Tuesday that the government had set up a local emergency response headquarters in Ishikawa to assess the situation and offer support. As time goes by, the impact of the disaster becomes clearer, Kishida said. Saving the lives of disaster victims is a race against time. The Self-Defense Force set up a joint task force and said 10,000 personnel were ready to be involved in rescue and relief operations, in addition to the 1,000 personnel already in the region, Defense Minister Minoru Kahara told a news conference.